Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Her Stars Aligned with my Virgo family. So for those of you guys that are new here, I am an intuitive reader. I do a lot of segments on the Virgo reading. Please keep in mind that you don't have to be a Virgo to be subscribed or to maintain messages within the read. Just connect with us, stay intact with us or stay in tune with us by subscribing, clicking on the notification so that all of my videos are brought to your attention. All right, so we're gonna get into the pre-read uh, for August 14th to the 18th. So there's quite a bit of spiritual downloads that I did get. One of them being someone's mental state. This could be for divine masculine, divine feminine. Due to a karmic doing a huge or a huge amount of dark magic spell work, someone's mental state is irreversible. Okay, so someone could have mental instability, someone could be very slow to respond to certain things than they used to be. We have accounts, social media name change. So someone could have changed their name on Instagram, um, some type of social media platform that they have, or on a channel name for YouTube as well here. All right. I'm also seeing a specific car. It's a champagne colored car with tinted windows. It's a Toyota Camry. It's a 2022 or newer model. Someone may be fixated or has a fixation on an idea, person, or situation. Someone has been called a derogatory term or name that insulted a said person, but there is an apology coming. We have sex god. So someone is looked up to as a uh, sex symbol, okay? I'm also seeing submit to them. I seen someone saying, please don't go. Someone could be hooking up with someone that they know, so this could be a rebound type of connection. We have climax, someone has reached their point. Okay, we have sex toys. I'm getting like a really erotic, romantic type of energy here, playful. We have emotional, physical ties, clinging. I'm hearing remain calm. Someone could be interrogated or there is an interrogation about a missing person or something that has gone missing here. We have helicopter parenting, breaking free. Someone may have have a teenager or a child or you may have been a runaway teen um, because of a mother or father playing too much of a role, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like a parent that does too much, checks in on you too frequently where you want to run away. We have spiteful here, waiting game, trade cars. Someone could have traded in a older model for a newer car. This could be a Toyota Camry. We have lovesick, wish list, made in Manhattan. Someone could be in a hotel. Someone could work in one or uh, someone could have a hotel stay booked. We have hopeless romantic, speechless, medical records, business transaction, quarantine symptoms, and favor. All right. So that's all the messages for my pre-reading. Let's see what is going on for August 14th to the 18th for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, mass node. Cross watchers come in, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. For Virgo. So we have diplomatically, friendships, and get a fair deal. So there's going to be some type of deal that is made between two people, two or more people. I should say someone here may be coming into creating a physical bond with someone at the bottom of the deck we have Pisces someone could be dealing with a Piscean 
This person could be very emotional. This is someone that likes to be clingy here. I do have that in my notes as well. So we have spiritually to ultimately experience, trusting your psychic knowledge of resulting from the indecision of or about. So you may not know about this person or you're trying to get to know them here. All right. What else do we have for Virgo? So we have Ram, a stubborn person, aggressive. Okay, this could be a fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. This person could be much older. We have muddled, unclear thinking. So whoever this woman is with a lighter skin complexion, this person could be very stubborn to making a clear decision in a career or in her personal life or building some type of merging bridge to make the two work here, okay? I'm hearing luck is on your side. to the 18th for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus rising. North node. So we have third party. You may be dealing with a karmic situation. Isn't that what I told you guys about? Whoever this person is that's doing some spell work has put some type of spell on this person too much or has done excessive spell work on this particular person, so much so that it is, a, it, it's mentally damaging to this person here, okay? We have love language, acts of service. Actions speak louder than words. So I'm getting here that there's a third party in the situation that knows Something may be difficult for them to get towards a fair decision, but I think that because this person doesn't feel like they're worthy for real love or someone that is going to love them and stay, they have to commit acts of service for this lover or for a particular person or for a situation to thrive, all right? Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. So we have girls, guys, night out, wine, bar. At the bottom of the deck, we have poker face, mean mug. Someone really doesn't like you, Virgo, because you're too much of a realist. When you spit that fire, that, that truth, someone can't take it. Someone may be getting fired here. Because they're unmotivating in a job. Or there's a lack of passion. Someone here needs to purify their energy and get away from this person that could be childish. Someone could be mature in age, but acting very childish here, okay? So the overall energy is discovery here. So there's so much more that you need to discover. I'm seeing that there is some type of impartiality when it comes to your happiness here. Let's see why. Why is impartiality here? 
I'm getting it's the same old, same old. In regards to this person that was acting really childish or uh, wasn't mature enough to deal with or handle the situation between the two of you, there was always a lot of arguments. This person only gave them, gave you half of them, okay? They only brought a, lo a little bit of tricklets of, of effort to a family dynamic or situation. This could have been a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm hearing that for some of you, like if it's not meant to be and this person isn't going to um, try to cohabitate or is trying to fix or to better help a situation to reconcile, then you're not, you're not about it. You'd rather sleep on it. You'd rather it hurt than to go through the same hurt all over again. <laughs> I need to write that down. I don't even have a pen. So I'll, I'll remember this. You'd rather it hurt than to be hurt all over again. Yep. Two of Swords. Someone here has been very sneaky in the past or is trying to st strategically see what they can do because they don't have enough courage to come towards you. Let's see what this karmic tales is about. This person sees how independent you are. This person could be comparing themselves to you, this karmic, whoever they are. This reading is about the third party, so your person is dealing with a fair woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this is an interracial couple for some of you here. Accepting that we've fallen out of love is the card that came out. I know you two have a history. And that's why this karmic guilts him into staying with them. And it, it kind of hurts this person emotionally to know that they have to do things in order for the relationship to thrive. What else for Virgo? August 14th to the 18th, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine messages for Virgo. So we have spying, I'm still checking up on you. Childhood trauma, I have experienced abuse growing up, which is why I struggle with commitment. I don't like the fact that you've been right about me. I'm dealing with financial issues at the moment. Whoever this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine is, they're trying to get their shit together, make positive changes, things of that nature. But even if they come back, they won't be staying for very long, but wants a second chance. Where they do that at? It's either you're in or you're out. If you're gone, stay gone. feels like they are pulled and tugged in two different directions. Someone feels like they're caught in the middle of two people, two situations, two things that seem important to them but can't seem to make a, a decision. Number 85 could be significant here. So the overall energy is accusation. Someone's focused on something that could have the potential to be a lie. Someone may have been keeping quiet about some type of secret that someone wants clarification on through a lie detector. Someone this summer has gone to jail for passing on STDs. Someone here isn't the father to someone's child.
Okay, we have enabler. So if your person is still with this karmic, the only reason that they're with them is because they assure everything that enables this situation that binds them together. Speaking facts, I can't make this up. For some of you here, you and this divine masculine, divine feminine could have stayed up a lot of the times, you know, trying to work things out or just have phone conversations. Someone feels like you're the solution to their issue because someone here just doesn't want to live anymore. Just doesn't find life worth living. What do we have for Virgo? So we have fire energy, air energy. I'm getting here that there's going to be some type of change between someone's emotions and them putting up some type of wall here. Someone is still drawn to you, wants to be around you, but needs to make some type of change between their emotions and putting up walls here. Yeah, someone doesn't trust easily or you don't trust easily, but that's going to be the cure to, to the problem here. What's this three of wands? Clarify three of wands in reverse. Someone's frustrated that there are delays in trying to figure out what's going on. Someone feels stuck here, which is causing a lot of blockages mentally. We have the Knight of Swords. Someone may have had a conversation that ended up in an argument. Maybe this is the last time you spoke to this person. Someone could have been spying on you and may have got some intel on what they saw or what you saw, and that kind of led to a dispute over the phone. Okay. Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So water energy and earth energy Virgo so I'm seeing here that someone feels like there was a reckless situation or someone acted recklessly in avoiding some type of lesson or not knowing that they did something here not learning from something I'm hearing that someone has eyes an extra pair of eyes while they're not around and that's what they failed to tell you, that you were being watched. Six of Wands. What's this Knight of Swords here? Three of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands, the Judgment. Someone is telling you that they're getting over their issues but this is just their ego talking. Someone's getting or facing some type of karma or is ready to make some type of decision. Point too many cards. Holy Spirit, can you clarify this three of swords in reverse? Someone could have broke up with the person that they met this person on, which was social media. Could have been Facebook. Someone maybe deactivated their social media. Or blocked you from seeing their social media. We have the Eight of, the eight of Cups, Water Energy, and four, four of Pentacles. So someone's avoiding telling you something. They're holding back because they don't feel like they have a lot of strength to come towards you with some type of um, news about what they've been up to or what's happening, what's going on here. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. Someone wants to mend fences with you, wants to make up 
Someone wants to make up for lost time. Someone wants to spend the rest of their days with you. I'm seeing King of Pentacles wants to live happily ever after in a palace-like type of environment where they're able to put the past and skeletons back into the closet so that they can deal with how to move forward. Because I think that's really hard for them is to go backwards here. There's just a lot of hurt and pain back there. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to make changes and I think they're going to do this by reaching out to you here. Okay, because it's been a chaotic time being separated from you, not being able to hear from you. All they can think about is you. And that hasn't changed. You seem to be their happiness or they're yours. I'm hearing that saying, let bygones be bygones. Give me one extra message. Okay, hey, yeah, someone doesn't want it to be over. Every single time I shuffle off camera and on camera, we have the world. The world seems to be a really popular card and as well as a strength card. This person's trying to manifest you back because they don't feel like they can do it on their own, okay? Someone's going insane about everything that's happening for them. Their emotions are up and down. They feel like, you know, things aren't successful without you, especially when it comes to their happiness here. Clarify the world. Yeah, they, they want to build some type of bridge. They want to merge bridges together in order to, you know, fix things one day at a time. What else for Virgo? August 14th to the 18th for Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus rising. Okay, so we have affirmations, Virgo. I'm seeing here that to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. You need to start forgiving yourself so that you can maintain a new journey in your life of love. Virgo. We have vegetarian. So someone could have changed their diet. A new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. Yeah, someone's not expressing exactly who they are or, or what makes them true to themselves. Okay? Someone could have lost a son or had a miscarriage or had a son taken away from them. Someone's not over it. Someone may be needing to give someone an explanation as to where they've been and needing that person to know that they went to the gym so that it doesn't look like they're just blowing smoke up someone's ass. Is this a cover story or is this the truth? Someone here is in their feelings, or you could be in your feelings. Ooh. Someone's in their feelings because you're about to career-wise hit the jackpot here, okay? Some of you could be maintaining some type of celebrity status. You're going to be definitely remembered where everyone knows your name. Uh, that comedy show or that sitcom on TV uh, the theme song in it, I think it's called Cheers and it goes well everybody knows your name and I'm almost glad you came and that's what I'm hearing it's like everybody knows your name or will be careful where you park someone could be picking up a parking ticket
What else do we have? For Virgo. Overall energy is Taurus. Don't threaten our relationship or don't threaten to end it. We have betrayal by a fake friend. This could have been a Taurus. Okay. This Taurus could have um, had unprotected sex with your person or with you. Take it how it resonates. Someone has escaped some type of physical or sexual abuse. There was a police raid or invasion or will be. This could affect someone's blended family or home situation. Bonus card. Someone wants to know if they're in some type of serious dynamic or relationship with their person. I'm hearing health against their will. Yep, see? Don't compare me to your exes. Moving in together. Whoever this is, whether this is you or your person, someone's unsure of the connection that you two share. Okay, because it's coming out like this. This says soulmate twin flame connection. Someone here could be working from home. Clarify the soulmate twin flame connection. We have, I don't wanna fight over stupid things. I'm invested in this relationship. Give us one more bonus card. Make love to me. And we have running errands. So running errands, you could run into this person and they could be staring deep into your eyes and you really don't know or maybe they're looking at you from a distance but they're just thinking all type of lustful thoughts that's why i was getting all those energies like climax sex toys physical ties fixated fixation someone here could also be settling something in court Messages from spirit, and then I'm going to close out. Woo. So, we have three different messages today. Virgos, it says vacation, competition, and memories. At the bottom of the deck, we have dragonfly. Live life to the fullest, baby. Don't take life for granted or the opportunities that come towards you. It's a once in a lifetime situation. If you see my last clip or short, go ahead and watch that. The title says it all. You only get one shot. Don't miss the opportunity. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Cherish memories of loved ones. Summon courage and self-confidence. So some of you could be struggling with that at this time. Some of you may have not been able to travel or haven't had the opportunity to. There's something about togetherness and spending time together. Maybe you need to take that extra time on a vacation to get away with the people you love, making memories. All right. So that's what I have here for your current messages, Virgo. Hopefully it resonates. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one.